Archery is a sport that works the muscles and hand-eye coordination. And this is beneficial for people with physical disabilities. ABC 7's Karen Meyer shows us why. Every Wednesday night at the Archery Bow Range, people with physical disabilities are aiming for the bull's eye. Adaptive Archery is one of the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago's both programs. Jason Stubberman is the coordinator. Obviously, the, your arms are going to be a big part of it to be able to get the bow out and, and pull back the strings. Um, but the, we have a number of adaptations. We have equipment that will hold the tension on the bow string so you can release it so you don't actually have to pull it back. We have mouth tabs that will go on the actual bow string and they can use their uh, front arm to, use, to hold the bow. Jason said archery is growing in popularity, especially among veterans. Jenny Spears is a former paratrooper. I have uh, spinal injuries that make it difficult for me to walk distance. I deal with post-traumatic stress disorder and I have a traumatic brain injury. Last summer, she took up archery. It takes my mind off of my physical issues, certainly. And it gives me a sense of accomplishment that I uh, can hit those targets with such an accuracy. It makes me feel, it makes me feel special. <laughs> Eli Magada just sold at Oystery. He became disabled almost four years ago in a freak accident. I like it a lot, yeah. Like, I can see the progress every week as I've been getting stronger. And uh, it's a lot of fun. The program's free of charge, so you know, no cost involved, but registration is needed. We have a few forms to fill out, waivers and things like that. We would love to have new individuals out. Um, no worries about any type of physical disability whatsoever. We have the adaptive equipment and a lot of trial and errors involved. Karen Meyer, ABC 7 News. They also have adaptations for people who are blind and visually impaired. So for more information, just go to our website, abc7chicago.com. Click More and then Disability Issues.